Polarized journey as a professional gamer began over a decade ago when he was just 7 or 8 years old. He was passionate about gaming, particularly Call of Duty and sports games like Madden and NBA and was extremely skilled in every game he played. At the age of 11, he got a laptop and started playing Minecraft. He played in various high level PvP and faction servers and was extremely good at Minecraft. For a short time he was amongst the top 3 players on a PvP server called Kohi. Polarized love for Minecraft eventually came to an end when he was around 13 years old and one of his friends suggested him to try out Fortnite. He played his first game with a full squad and ended up winning, which sparked his love for the game. Like every other game, Polarized was a natural at Fortnite and he knew if he grinded it, he could easily become really good at it. After playing the first two or three seasons of Fortnite on console, Polarized bought a decent gaming PC with a GTX 1060 and an i7 CPU. He also invested in a Razer Naga mouse, a Razer Black Widow keyboard and a Zoe GSR SE mousepad. He started to see significant improvements from just playing the game and began playing scrims early on in step 1 before the OG scrim servers like FNPL even existed. He had been competing since before tournaments were a thing and had played multiple hours every day to keep getting better. When creative mode was released, Polarized used the edit curse maps as a warm up and was able to set world records on them without even grinding daily. While other people would spend multiple hours a day playing the edit curses, he would just use them as a warm up for 10 to 20 minutes and get world records. This was when he realized he had something special. He had the world record on several different maps including Slappies and Mongrel's edit curses. Over time Polarized started placing better and better in Fortnite tournaments. His first earnings came from the Lux Cup before World Cup even started. He qualified for Winter Real 2018 but wasn't old enough to compete it since the age restriction for competitive Fortnite was 16 plus. During World Cup he had the worst internet imaginable which caused him to lose out on potential earnings. He estimated that he made around 4 grand in earnings from World Cup but easily would have qualified if his internet wouldn't have gone out multiple times during tournaments. There was one Solus week in particular where he was in first place by a significant amount of points with only an hour left but his internet went out for the rest of the tournament. Before that happened, one of the owners of E11, one of the top organizations at the time, reached out to him in Discord DMs saying that he wishes to sign him in the future. Despite the setback caused by his poor internet connection during World Cup, Polarize slowly gained more and more recognition in the competitive scene from larger and more well-known pros. And actually his name has been around for almost as long as anyone else's. He really started seeing success on YouTube once a YouTuber named TM made a video on the fastest editors and put Polarized at the very top. This brought him from a few hundred subscribers on YouTube to around 5 to 6 thousand. From there Polarized continued to make highlight videos a few years until he started seeing some real success and growth on YouTube content when he began making arena videos and arena gameplay out of his streaming content. He made videos with people like It's Jerry and most notably played Big Bobby AI in Cypher PK's AI Bot vs Pro series. Polarized is one of the top performers nowadays and will most likely continue his streak and become more and more successful at the top. If you enjoyed the content don't forget to check out the story about how Peterbot became a tier 1 pro and also why Dreaming Clothing by Clicks is so successful.